Dit is Dolly, een schotschaap zonder vader, maar wel met een moeder. Eén cel van haar is voldoende om al het erfelijk materiaal te kopiëren. En dat is nooit eerder bij een volwassen dier gebeurd. Dolly is dus een doorbraak. Dolly is remarkable because she is a clone. The first exact genetic copy of an adult mammal. Scientists had cloned baby frogs, even mice before, but never a full-grown sheep. The trick was helping an adult cell act young again. To make Dolly, Dr. Ian Wilmot and his Scottish colleagues began with a six-year-old sheep. They took a single cell from her memory gland, everything, especially the nucleus, the cell's command center containing all the genes. Then they took an egg from a second sheep, removed its nucleus, and replaced it with the cell from that first sheep. The egg and its new nucleus fused together, turning it into an embryo, but one with all the genetic characteristics of the first sheep and none of the second. In essence, a carbon copy of that six-year-old sheep. Finally, the embryo was placed in a third animal where it developed and Dolly was born. Na het schaap komt een aap. Ook die wordt gekloond. En dan lijkt het genetisch kopiëren van een mens nog maar een klein stapje. Mensen klonen is nog science fiction, zeggen de wetenschappers. Maar er ontbrandt meteen een opgewonden discussie tussen voor- en tegenstanders. Other cloning breakthroughs followed. In Oregon, the first cloned monkeys. In Wisconsin, the first cow cloned from embryonic stem cells. And then, from the same laboratory that created Dolly, came Polly, a clone that carries a human gene in every one of her cells. The same gene missing in many hemophiliacs, which prevents their blood from clotting. Hemophiliacs don't make the clotting protein, but Polly may, in her milk. Polly is exactly what the Scottish researchers were after. An animal with genes that could be used to help study and potentially fight human disease. The reason why we started this technique um, was not so much to be able to make uh, copies of, of animals, but whilst uh, we are carrying out this procedure, to use it in a slightly different way to introduce precise genetic changes. Genetic changes to create pigs with organs that might one day be transplanted into humans. Designing animal clones for our own medical purposes crosses an ethical line for many people. But it's not nearly as controversial as another potential application of cloning, making exact copies of human beings. Scientists say human cloning is years away if it ever happens. Meanwhile, they will keep a close eye on Dolly, watching her grow and making sure cloning has produced a healthy, normal animal. Human cloning will take place, and it'll take place in my lifetime.